so I have a bit of a problem. I need beef. But I got no beef. So I'm going to show you guys what a Minecraft rabbit hole looks like. The modded edition. But before I do that, you guys have to know by now, you can call me Zoofy Zuffy Zoofy or Zoof. And this is Zoofology. Wow. Yeah, that really does look like the exact same color as the sky. That was not intentional, by the way. So if somebody can make something that looks better than that, trust me, I know someone can. I would love for someone to uh, post that in the comments and if I actually have any competition, then I'll pick the best one because I need a good poster or billboard sign. Yeah, I need a good sign for Zoof Labs, guys. So how do I get beef? Well, should be pretty obvious. Cows. Okay, how do I get cows? Well, you can breed cows, I guess. And unfortunately, you have to hurt the cows to get the beef. Um, how do you breed the cows? Well, you need wheat. And how do we get lots of wheat? Well, a farm. But how do we get lots of wheat fast? I guess you could AFK it. Or you have it going all the time with bone meal. So, we start with bone meal, then we go with wheat, then we get beef. That's our flowchart. So, we're gonna try to take this bit of uh, section here and I'm going to, well, basically turn it into this. So, I guess, in other words, we're already done. So, I decided I was going to originally put it over where we just cleared out, but I think it'd be a lot easier to pipe all of the items we're going to be getting from our main just base. Because we already have all the XNet cables coming up here, right? I do actually have this vacuum module too, and you're going to see why that's here in a second. Well, actually, right here, we have the honey. So the honey is going to be thrown into the air. Um, and then this vacuum module is going to pick it up. So I'm going to start off with these items here because we want bone meal. So we're using composters. Got to figure out where exactly I want this farm set up. I might just put the composters about like this. Oh, wait, I don't want the composters showing. Let's do them one higher. Well, man, I'm bad at this apparently. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And now I'm going to take my eight routers and there's, I'm going to show you something about these routers. Now, these all have nine speed upgrades and activator modules, and these actually need to be facing up. All right, so I've got all of them. Let's go ahead and have it facing up. And to make this quicker, because if you, uh, you can stack, so you got to, Unfortunately, divide them up. Okay, so that should kind of just spam right click on that composter. That's what's going to happen right now. So next up, that's our output, right? That's our bone meal. So now we want to tell it, where does it get that bone meal? Well, we have a special router in here. Right here, this has a vacuum module, which will vacuum up the potatoes that we farm and distribute them to the eight, um, those eight routers. And we do have speed upgrades and stack upgrades so that it gets rid of the items as quickly as it can. Um, I want to do something special with this. Can I put this in the wall? Maybe I shouldn't. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to put it right here. And the reason being, we're going to use a camo module. Oh, what in the world? That wasn't supposed to happen. Wait, did I not? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm blind, apparently. Sorry. So that's going to go right there. Now, I do need to take this and tell this to distribute to all of these. Yep, to all of these. 
And in my vacuum, you can see that I have potato and well, we don't need bone meal, but we have potato and I might do, I might do seeds. Um, I'm going to do flax seeds and you'll see why in a second. It has a fast pickup augment. Okay, let's put this back in here. Let me take some potatoes here, throw them out. We got bone meal being made. It's exactly what we want. With that, let's go ahead and set up what's next, which is honestly, it looks like such a big mess, mainly because it absolutely is. Okay. So you want to find the range your twerker goes. So let's find the range of twerker. I believe it's going to be further than that. So let's do this. Uh, maybe we could do one more. If I was standing right here, that's not even the middle. Um, yeah, stand right here. Did it get that one? No, it didn't get that one in the end. So that's exactly the range we want. Okay, um, now that means that we can probably also go one out this way. Yep, perfect. Now, I assume we can't go one more, but we might as well test it. Nope, they did not grow. So you've marked out your boundaries. So we can fill this all with potato. And they should all grow. Yep, just like that. All right, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. We're going to take this whole bit right here. And we're going to remove it. And now I want to replace that with wait, where's my crate? We're going to replace that with pumpkin and melon. If you haven't figured it out, guys, yet, we're about to be growing all of these things in one farm that's automated. Yep, we are automating everything. Originally, I thought just bone meal, but why stop there? We only need two pumpkin and three melon. That's what I want to do. So now, if we're standing here, nice, just the stems though. So now we can go ahead and do this. And now if we do this, now there is a random chance that we get two pumpkins. We got it over here, but we didn't over here. This is great. This is exactly what we're wanting. So we need to mine those pumpkins. How do we mine the pumpkins? Breaker modules. Um, I've got... Okay. Wait, actually... Here we are. We want this one instead. So... Oh, um... Yeah, that's not a problem, actually. Whoops. That was an accident. Okay, so here's a breaker module. We want it breaking the front and left. So this says back. We need to make this front. It should be mining front and left. That's exactly where pumpkin can grow. Perfect. See that? Yep, that's what we want. Now we are going to want a camo module on this. Let's do this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, we got pumpkin. Now we need to grab. Well, we have one more breaker module that will do the same thing. You might be able to do this one a little smarter. Nah, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to do this one back and right. So, oh, did it just? Oh, perfect. It was already configured. That is exactly what we want. Now we need to grab three item routers. All right, this breaker module needs to be set to down. These are all silk touch, notice. And all you have to do, I used a wooden pickaxe, enchanted it with silk touch, and combined it with a module. 
to make a breaker module. That's all you have to do. So whatever pickaxe you use for this, uh, if it's silk touch, it's going to silk touch it basically. I don't know if there's any other things you could do with it, but I did see someone un very unfortunately accidentally use their Terra Shatterer to craft one of these because it auto pulled from their system. Not the best thing. It was a triple, it was a double S Terra Shatterer. Rather expensive, I must say. But we're going to set all these to down. So, boom. Perfect. So now, if pumpkin or melon grows, it will be broken and harvested. We're not done, by the way. We've still got more to do. Um, we're going to come and we're going to actually, yes, we are making a second level. Okay, however, this middle one, we break this and this is where we stand to be able to twerk on both of them. So let's, um, let's get our next crop set. So on this set, we want, we're done with potatoes completely. Sugar cane, cactus, and let's go ahead and grab these glass panes. And we'll also grab these. I don't actually have enough breaker modules, I just realized. But we'll see. We'll cross that when we get there. Let's climb up here. All right, so I do one here. And this is why we're using rocky dirt, because anything can go on it pretty much, which is fantastic. No water needed. And yes, it does grow slower. But with Twerker, it that doesn't matter whatsoever. Look at that. The cactus is growing. And I don't know if you can hear, but our pumpkin and melon is also growing. However, the cactus only grows to too high. Then again, that is not a problem. Because as long as it breaks, it doesn't matter. So I put that right here. Fill in the rest of this cactus. This is where sugarcane was supposed to go. We are definitely going to have a problem there. Um, so unfortunately this might not be fully efficient. Like I might just ignore that and not have sugarcane there. Two, three. I mean, we have three sugarcane. That's probably still more than enough with how fast this is. So as you can see, everything grows. So we do need to do something like this. Yep, that way that cactus breaks. And what I like to do up here is I'm going to take. Let's see, we want wheat because we are going to need wheat for the altar. I get a little bit of flax, not much at all, only because it'd be nice to have string, but it's also going to be pain to auto craft or not auto craft, but manually craft a whole bunch of it. Put the flax right here and keep in mind like the amount I'm doing you can play with it like there's no right or wrong answer to how many you do you could do this whole thing potato if you want double the amount of routers and um, composters you have and just do all bone meal that's completely possible eight okay eight wheat I think we do one more wheat because we're gonna get way more um Wait, that's not how you plant wheat. Whoops. This is our crazy farm going right now. Now we need some hoes. I totally forgot. That's what this is for. So right here, we have a router. It needs to be a router with an activator. And I think I got rid of my router with an activator. Yep, there it is. We have two of them. We need both of these. So let's go ahead and break this guy. Here goes one. And the other one we'll put right. Well, right here. And we give them both hoes. And they just go. They go to town. 
So now the bone meal is going to be made. Right now, everything's just going to be floating on the ground. So keep that in mind. If you don't know, flax is string. So it's a semi manual string farm as well. Another Vaulter item. So definitely worth having. So we need to vacuum all this stuff. That's what we have to do next. Um, and that's why I have this bulk item filter. Now, all you have to do is shift click this stuff in. Now, alternatively, you can actually go up to something. This says pumpkin. Crouch right click and it'll anything in that inventory. It adds to the filter. So I should be able to put this in here. Oh, well, in the vacuum. Sorry. So in the vacuum thing and now, whoa, 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 calm down. Now it should vacuum all that stuff. Yeah, it, it totally did. It worked super fast. We needed to do bone meal too, though. So I did not put bone meal in it. Wait, right. What's cool is it doesn't actually consume the filter. So you only ever need one filter. Pretty neat. I have this already linked up with XNet. As you can see, we have our XNet cables. Um, so all I have to do now is go hook it up through our XNet. So let's head downstairs. And you guys saw me working with XNet last episode. So it's going to be very simple. Extract through here, insert through here. Now, the problem is not that it's not working, like it's not configured. They just don't have a spot to go. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, let's do carrots, potatoes, wheat. Carrots. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, I, I think it's piping. I do believe it's piping. Um, cactus. I guess we don't have one for cactus yet. Wheat seeds. Yep, that's working. Black seeds. Now there is going to be an issue, obviously. And that's going to be once we fill up, right? Once the stuff fills up, it's going to be a big mess. And I do already have a compacting drawer for this because that's going to be needed. Definitely. Um, it doesn't have an upgrade, though, so I might as well go ahead and give it an upgrade. I believe I have a drawer in here with an upgrade. I, I don't. OK, never mind. So we'll deal with that later. But this got caught on pumpkins, so we need a spot for pumpkin. Pumpkin, melon, melon. Is there a jam? There's no jam. So I think we're going to need another vacuumer. I'm going to move this more to the center of the room, like here. Yeah, I'm going to move it maybe even here a little more on this side because we're going to use a lot of height over here. So let's do that. Oh, we don't even have the sugar cane hooked up yet, guys. Um, yeah, we should do that. We should most definitely do that. We got breaker modules here uh, in these. So all we got to do, slap it beside it, slap it beside it. And both of them are hooked up to the back already. So now anytime that sugar cane grows, it breaks it. Now I could actually speed it up. Um, oh, it does break it, but it holds it in its inventory. So this is actually really easy to solve. And all it takes is by putting any item that it's not going to be breaking. So in this case, any item besides sugarcane will go in here so it doesn't stack with it. And now if it breaks it, it just drops it into the world. Now, keep in mind, you are going to have to do this for the pumpkin, the melon and the sugarcane. So anything that basically is going to be broken by a router. So I'm looking at it now, guys, and we've got probably way too much potatoes. Like I've stopped a while back and I might have even mentioned it earlier that you can totally add more routers and composters. But if you do that, you are going to have to add another distributor because each distributor module, which costs two vault diamonds, kind of expensive, but not that bad. It can only handle distributing to eight uh, inventories so that you might as well use a whole eight routers to make you know the best use of it or alternatively you could just remove some potatoes from the bottom floor until it seems like it's like not becoming overwhelming with potatoes 
And now to show off my final improvements to the whole build. I just wanted to make it look a little bit better in my base. If I wanted to, I could take these routers and I could also camo them as marble. I might do that, who knows. But I took some frame trap doors and put them around where I couldn't put stuff. Like this has to stay open because that's where our pumpkin goes. That's where a router goes. Um, and I just put some trap doors here as well. Now, some other improvements that I made is I had to get another vacuum because one just couldn't handle all the items. And I did have to remove some potato. Um, I suggest removing potato as well if you're still not keeping up with this. One thing you're actually able to do if you're not able to get a macro of some kind to crouch for you, you can actually go into your options, accessibility settings, and turn your sneak to toggle. And so now whenever I go to crouch, I crouch once and it's toggled even though I'm not pressing the key anymore. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you is this is basically how I'm setting up the garbage. Now this is the pipe that we had earlier. Really any pipe I have connected to my system is gonna work. I just have a router hooked up to it and it's set to void. It has a void module, which is very cheap by the way. This thing is literally a lava bucket and a blank module very cheap we just want it to void any item it gets into its buffer so let's see what that looks like yep it just voids it now i gave it stack upgrades and speed upgrades so that if this is given a full stack it voids the entire stack quickly and don't worry because i actually have this set up on a lower priority than our drawer network so that's all I have to do, and now any item that would be going into my drawer network, if it can't find a spot for it, it throws it away. I have ran this thing for about five hours, and I only had one diamond upgrade in it. Before that five hours was over, I don't know at what point, but all of my drawers filled up completely, including my bone meal drawer, which basically was 8,192 bone blocks that's a lot of bone meal guys probably more than i would use in that time so i suggest scaling this to your actual needs there you have it guys this is exactly what a minecraft rabbit hole looks like i came out looking for beef what did i get pretty much everything but beef but somewhat leads to beef eventually but um thanks for checking out the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one be sure to like and subscribe